In today's episode, I'm going to show you what to do if you get stuck in your fugue. Okay, so I have here a fugue from my opera ballet, Salambo, okay? And I have a certain area, a certain passage where I have the outer voices because one is the counter subject and the other, of course, is the, well, the response. Okay, so that I know is set. I really like it. I want to use it as much as possible. Tout à fait normal, as we say in French. Okay, everything is good. However, I need to fill in the middle voice and I just got stuck. I tried a couple times. I just, I can't go anywhere. So I created like a little, um, kind of a little plomb, as we say in French, to help people, help myself and hopefully help you. Okay. So the first thing I wrote, ask yourself, what is the problem? All right. Many times when you're stuck, you just feel stuck. It's an energetic thing. It's like, I'm stuck. I don't, I, I, I'm stuck. But you need to ask yourself, what is the problem? Okay. It sounds super basic, but that is the starting kind of seed to getting unstuck. Okay. What is the problem? So what I put measure 24 to 28, trying to fill in the third voice, but the harmony is not clear. In particular, because there is a harmonic change on beat 4 of measure 24 to be minor, which leaks over to measure 25, despite the fact that previously harmony changed in the middle or at the beginning of the measure. Okay, quite a mouthful, but I encourage you to write this down by hand. Do not try to type it out on the computer. It feels gratifying to do so, but many times you're not really using your brain as much as you would like to think. Okay, so let's dissect. So I said, trying to fill in the, the, the third voice, the middle voice, harmony is not clear, all right? So many times in Fugue, when you're stuck, it's, it's an issue of harmony. I have said it since day one. I even said it with my orchestration. It's all about the harmony. It's all about the harmony. Okay. Um, harmony is like clear uh, because there's a harmonic, harmonic change on beat four of measure 24. Let me pay from beat three. So here I go to be minor. And there's a minor change in beat four of measure 24, which goes on to measure 25. despite the fact that previously harmony changed in the middle or at the beginning of the measure. So basically, there is an issue with the harmonic rhythm. So in your fugue, any piece of music you have, the harmony moves at a certain pace, and then when we get to the cadences, then it goes quicker, of course. So in this fugue, harmony was changing generally on the half note, sometimes even by the whole note. So suddenly, instead of uh, harmony changing on beat one, it's suddenly changing on beat four, or in this case, instead of on beat three and beat one, it's changing on beat four. So something feels off, okay? Now you have to tap into your own music. That may not be an issue, but here something fell off. Okay, next. Where does the music feel off, okay? You need to pin down a measure number and if possible, a beat, okay? So where does the music feel off? So again, for me, it's something very really like just Emotional, I just feel like, okay, this music, something's off, okay? Uh, something's off. Like, up until here, I like it. I don't have any issues. Maybe I want to revise it, but when I get to here, that something's not right, okay? So you got to pinpoint that it's something I just listen, and I just feel like this. It feels like I'm forcing. For me, just like, okay, I'm forcing myself to like this. That's not a good thing, okay? You shouldn't be forcing yourself to like it. You like your own music. It's probably because it's probably not your music <laughs> if you're forcing yourself. <laughs> Okay, so where does the music feel off? Get a specific measure in beat number. So I put measure 24, middle voice. Specifically the lyrics of Vanier. Now, out of context, that's it's totally fine. But, you know, you're listening to your piece. Obviously, when you listen, you know the larger context, and you're going to feel, okay, that something is off, okay? 
Um, I also put more motion needed in the third voice. Well, the second half of measure 24 in the bottom voice, the third voice, that's the subject. Well, technically the response. So that won't get changed, but maybe the first part. Okay, so this is good. We have something specific. Next, I asked myself, where does the music feel back on track? Meaning before it was off at this measure and where do we think, feel like things are good again? I put measure 27. So getting there, okay, I'm happy with it again. And it's important that you get sensitive to it. You have to feel, okay, there, it's not the whole thing's off. The whole thing's off, and then you gotta start over the fugue probably. Okay, but there's gotta be certain parts, okay, this feels good, this, this doesn't feel good. And you have to get more sensitive to that. Okay, it's just about being sensitive. All right, sensible. Um, okay, then I have a resolution. Focus on measure 24 to 26, okay, middle voice, all right? So we've established, we're trying to get the middle voice because we have the outer voices anyway. We have the, the counter subject and the response. And we figured out where specifically there's a problem. And so now we're just clarifying. And I urge you to do this like by hand to really write it because I find it just sticks a lot better. On the computer, you can write much quicker, but what happens is because you can write much quicker, that what you write often isn't very um, of substantial use, you know, it doesn't take effort. Versus when you're on paper, you have to make, you know, you're not going to want to spend two hours writing something if it's not worth it. So you tend to, on réfléchit, okay, we, we think a lot more. Um, so resolution focus on measure 24 to 26, middle voice. All right, that makes sense. Next, I put lyrics feel off, harmony feels off. So I just think this is a rather organic process. Okay, I, I couldn't say, if you look at this in general, there are certain kind of rules you can apply to how to go about um, getting unstuck. Though there's many different ways, but here it's just a thought came to me, okay? I wrote it down, lyrics feel off, harmony feels off. So this is important because in general, when you have an issue with harmony, that's going to take precedence because harmony is really what binds everything together. And God forbid you have an issue with form. Lord have mercy. Okay. Then you have to address that. Uh, but in general, it's going to be an issue of harmony that's going to take precedence. However, lyrics can affect things more than you think. So there's certain times where I ignore revising a certain section of the fugue because I'm like, okay, well, I know it's the counterpoint is a little bit messy. I'll fix it later. But then when I take the time to fix it, I get an innovative solution that I end up using throughout the fugue. And in fact, in this fugue, there is a section where I had to add 16th notes, just stick it in really just once because of some problem in the counterpoint. And that became a motive throughout the rest of the fugue. Okay, so you do, you nev don't think you can push things off till tomorrow, like you, everything has to be addressed at some point. Um, so I then I put, where is harmony not correct? So we discussed measure 24, changing on beat four. Okay, let me, let me play that again. And one quick thing about harmony, though technically on beat one, it feels like D major. Sorry, sorry, on the downbeat, it feels like D major. We hear harmony in multiple ways, and you have to consider the entire beat. So we'll definitely will perceive the harmony as a B minor chord first inversion. Okay, I certainly would like to show you how I got unstuck, but I'd like to just announce a couple of things real quick. So I have recently moved back to Paris, uh, back to America uh, from Paris, France. I finished my, ma my bachelor's and my master's in America in composition, music composition. And then I moved to Paris, France to get extra training like 
fugue, orchestration, harmony. Harmony is really what helps the most with fugue as well as orchestration. Um, harmony helping orchestration, I mean. But I've had a very hard time like accessing the institutions. I'm trying to get my music played and I think the music is a very high level, but it just seems like you know, spending so long in another country, I really lost touch. So I am looking to connect with groups and ensembles. Uh, I have a couple of pieces that I'm trying to program. And I'm looking for both professional ensembles as well as amateur community. I really want the music to spread. I think it is incredible music. Um, so do contact me. The following pieces are what I have available at the moment. I have Help Us on the Way for Orchestra. It's my first orchestral work. It's in five movements. It's a symphony. And that is complete. I also have fugues from my opera oratorio. So I have Cedre, which is an opera oratorio. I have a comedic fugue for men's chorus. And I also have a very tragic fugue for women's chorus. So I'm looking to have that performed very soon. And also we have Salumbo, which is my opera ballet, and I'm currently composing children's arias and fugues, and this is the final fugue from the set. So please uh, contact me if you're interested in having a conversation. Okay, so I'm stuck. Right, we're stuck in the fugue. You wanna, but we're getting closer. We're, we're figuring out what exactly, where exactly is the problem. Okay, so don't just say, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, you know, complaining. But you gotta, like, pin it down, all right? So then a decision came to me. Play the harmony from measure 24 to the end. And here you kind of improvise, you sing. It's gonna be very sloppy and messy, but this is, like, how you compose, right? Okay, so I'm like playing through it. Ugh, I don't know. I'm just not. Something's off. Okay, and it has to be in the middle voice because I have this is we have a, the outer voices are the, the the response and the counter subject, and I know I like them. I played them before. So I wrote. The problem is that the middle voice gets to the F sharp for a B minor chord, which sounds great. But on measure 25, the bottom voice, the melody, goes to F sharp. So it feels like nothing has changed. Okay. So it's just, it seems like a, some kind of unclear harmony. Okay. There's something, just, just something off in the harmony we're seeing. Next, I replayed the harmony and I kind of played around. And what I discovered. is in measure 25, the harmony that I really want is this. F sharp, A, C sharp. Notice that there's a suspension. But ultimately the notes that we're gonna perceive as the harmony are this. Okay, good, so I have more information. Um, next, I had a very big decision. Oh, one thing, I missed something. Before my big decision, I had a realization, okay? So it says downbeat of measure 25, it feels like B minor chord in second version because of F sharp, F sharp, B. All right, that is actually quite important. And if you do counterpoint studies, you'll, you're like probably wondering, why is this, you can't have a second version chord? So that kind of always stays. And that could be dangerous, right? You know. Maybe you like second version. I really like second version chords, and I think other fugues, they, I have them and there's no problem. But let's look at it. So on, at the uh, end of measure 24, certainly it's a B minor chord, first inversion, downbeat of 25, Yes, it will feel like the same harmony, but, you know, to a different version. Um, however, by the time we get to the second beat, it clarifies itself 
as an F sharp A C sharp chord. But I do understand the concern. On the downbeat, it's still feeling like the same harmony trickled over, but a different inversion. So it's just it's just not clear, right? The harmony is just muddy. It's just there's something fuzzy going on. Um, next, I had a big decision. Recompose the middle voices, the middle voice, starting from measure 24. So sometimes when you are just... You feel like you're seeing all these problems, but you're hesitating to take the dive, okay? You just have to make the leap, all right? So what I wrote uh, here, recompose the middle voices starting from measure 24. Even though the issue with the lyrics is secondary to the harmony, it may lead you to the correct solution. So measure 24... So starting right there, even though the harm, the harmonic problem is the end of 24, it's good to get into it. And in addition, we, we noted before I was concerned about the lyrics affecting things. So I decided, decided to start fresh from the beginning, fix those lyrics, even though the harmony is good there, because that might give you more information. Okay, never, never discount that. And of course, if you're composing a fugue that's not vocal, it's, it's the counterpoint then. Okay, you, you, when you, if you, there are certain parts of the figure, like that kind of part is a little bit messy, but you want to throw it away. Oh, whatever, I'll figure it out. Don't be fooled. You'll be surprised that it really holds you back. You know, there's no, you, there's no shortcuts in the fugue. Okay, the only shortcut is just planning. All right, and that becomes another game because you get stuck planning and you don't actually compose the fugue, aka education. Um, so big decision, recompose the middle voice starting from measure 24. I tried to do that and I had no success. Okay, so now I'm completely stuck. So let's just, just quickly review, just go over very quickly what happened. So we saw in the first part um, I have this fugue for children's course. We identify the problem, right? The first thing is, what is the problem? Okay. Then we kind of can solve the problem. Where exactly does it take place? We're able to kind of rephrase in a way that's very clear and direct. The harmony is just unclear at a certain passage. And then we decided to kind of widen the scope, measures 24 to 26. That whole section is just, you know, not full. Even though the, 